How do you wake up early for working out guys? Welcome back. Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Vikas and you're watching my fitness experiment to get rid of the excess fat around my waist. You can have a look at the earlier videos by clicking on the links on your screen. Please subscribe for regular updates. In today's video, we're going to see how I managed to include my workout plan in my daily schedule. Before deciding on the fitness experiment, my daily schedule used to be something like this. I used to get up at around 7.30 a.m., get ready, go to work by 9 a.m., work till 7 to 9 p.m., and then head home and have dinner at around 10 p.m., and watch some TV, do some reading, and sleep by 11.30 p.m. to 12 a.m. After deciding on the workout plan, I faced a lot of difficulties in including the workout plan in my daily schedule. As my time of finishing work at office is not fixed, I knew I could work out only in the mornings. I had to start waking up early in order to include workout in my daily schedule. I have always been more of a night owl than a morning person. I started searching on the internet a lot about how to wake up early. Luckily, I found a lot of valuable information on the internet. You can go ahead and check out some of the videos from the description section below. I'll share about the tips I've started following and the ones that gave me results. Tip number one, identify your sleep cycle. By sleep cycle, I mean the normal time you feel sleepy at night and the time you wake up next day in the morning without using an alarm clock. Usually a normal adult needs anywhere from six to 10 hours of sleep a day. It depends on various factors like health of the person, uh, weather in the area, uh, the amount of exertion phased during the day, etc. You will have to start noticing these times, the time you fall, you feel sleepy at night and the actual time you wake up without using an alarm clock in order to get the average sleep and wake up times. Then we need to move this time ahead as little as 15 minutes at a time. I have gone even slower by sleeping just 5 minutes earlier and waking up 5 minutes earlier every week. Every week I moved my sleep and wake up times 5 minutes earlier. With just this tip, I'm able to wake up at around 6 a.m. comfortably and I go to bed at around 11 p.m. Tip number two, stop taking caffeine at least three hours before your bedtime. I am a coffee and tea addict. As mentioned in my earlier videos, I take around eight to 10 cups of coffee a day. As caffeine is a stimulant, it will affect a normal sleep cycle. So this is the reason I stopped taking caffeine after 6 p.m. Tip number three, Stop watching TV or working on a computer one hour before sleeping. There are some scientific reasons behind this that during the end of the day, our mind starts to wind down to prepare to sleep and enter the resting phase. But when you watch TV or work on a computer or work in bright light during the end of the day, our mind gets confused and this affects our normal sleep cycle. Following this tip, I have stopped watching TV or working on a computer one hour before sleeping. In the last one hour before sleeping, I do a lot of other things like listening to soft music, reading, and planning for the important tasks for the next day. Tip number four, keep your alarm clock across the room far away from your bed. This is because when you wake up to the alarm and walk towards it to turn it off, the slight 15 to 30 minutes of physical activity gets you out of the sleep mode. I have three alarms in my apartment, all at different distances from my bed. The first alarm rings in the hall across the room. The second alarm is my phone, which is at the end of my bedroom. And the third alarm is my music system using a timer switch, which plays loud music early in the morning. It's amazing. Once the third alarm rings, I just slow down the, the volume and just go ahead and start off with my day. So these were the tips I am following for waking up early in order to incorporate workout in my daily schedule. So how do you wake up? How do you wake up early or what time of the day you prefer working out? Do share in the comment section below. This was it for this week guys. We will meet again next week to see the importance of compound movements while beginning to work out. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. If you have liked this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have disliked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see my progress 
and more importantly, if you want to find out whether the tips I'm searching on the internet actually works out or not. See you in my next video. Until then, take care.